Hey friends, it's Cheryl. How you all doing today? Well, I came on for a couple of reasons. Um, it's a new year, new resolutions, new things going on. But I wanted to share some things with you that are really important to me right now. Um, first off, this little book was sent to me by this actress. Her name is Karen Bankhead. She actually sent this to me a couple of years before I started doing YouTube videos and it's called and the rest is history a devotional by Etta Mae Mumphreys um, she has a YouTube channel and I want y'all to please go and subscribe to her channel it is adorable she has this little persona now Karen is actually younger than the lady that she portrays in her videos and she just gives you this wonderful homespun wisdom. She will tell you a tale about something that happened in history. Uh, she's good friends with everybody. Winston Churchill, Mick Jagger, Marvin Gaye, Dr. King. I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, something your children can listen to. Just wonderful. But she sent me the book and the DVD a few years back. And... Uh, see if I can focus this here she's writing this book because I'm getting a little old now I'm 99 well actually I'm 103 as of today but who's counting you better not be cuz I'm not just living day to day but the good Lord has been good to me so I'm gonna tell it while I can praise is what I do look up at a mom phrase let me see if I got it on the back of the book her YouTube channel and her website. Y'all forgive me. My hand is shaking. Okay. Here we go. Tune in to Etta Mae. Gosh, hold on. YouTube.com slash Etta Mae TV. Y'all, let's see if I can zoom in on that. I think it's just because my big old hands are shaking. But go support her. She's so awesome. Uh, I'm going to tell you where you've probably seen her. She used to be on a couple of TV shows. I can't remember them. I, oh, I remember her being on the Parkers. And uh, she played... This, when Kim was some kind of like an Avon lady selling some kind of Egyptian skincare line. And Etta Mae, not Etta Mae, but Karen was playing a character that wanted to emulate Kim. And she tried to, you know, just do everything that Kim was doing. It was real crazy. But this is a really nice person. And I, I bet you'll love it when you go there. So, I want to show y'all my planner. You know, back in the days when I was among the working, <laughs> every year, on every job, I used to get a new day timer or whatever they were having. But since then, I try to stick to my phone or something that I can afford that's inexpensive. I mean, I used to have planners that cost about 100 or $200 when I was, you know, doing the 9 to 5 shuffle. But I have a couple of things that I use to help me. I was just listening to my good friend in my head, <laughs> pretty and flawed, uh, when she was saying that she has to have a note sometime to jot down stuff before she, you know, moves it over to a planner. I bought this about three or four years ago, and I keep it now in the kitchen, and sometimes I just keep it with me. It has this big magnet strip across the back. And what it is, it's just a calendar, um, sort of a blank calendar. You circle the month up here, whatever day, whatever information you need to use. So, like if I somebody call and I got a, an appointment I made and I'm not able to put it in my planner, I put it here. And it also serves as a grocery list when I'm going to the store. Um, so, if you can find, I saw something like these at Walmart uh, for a dollar around Christmas time. So, anyway, here's my planner. Let me go back out, zoom out soon. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, a calendar I got at Walmart. Um, and I decorated it with some stickers and 
sunflowers are my favorite flower. Um, Lala like that panda. And the little mooses, that's my little Ian. <laughs> and so anyway, this calendar is from Walmart. It was $6. It's called the See It Bigger 2016 Monthly Planner. And it had dates in it from October 2015 to December of this year. And what I liked about it is that you get the monthly calendar and a weekly calendar. Um, there's those reference calendars you can look ahead and look back on. Holidays are included. And the note pages were pretty important to me because of some things I intend to do this year. And the contact pages, I do have a lot of stuff in my cell phone, but I also like to keep hard copies just in case. So, you know, here's where your personal information is. And I haven't written the contacts in. I'm not going to write them. What I'm going to do is the really important contacts, I'm going to print those and just take a glue stick and put them in the calendar. And there's your 2016 ahead and beyond. Holidays. And what else? Any upcoming events? I didn't even see that part. That's good. But that, you know, I probably wouldn't look at it because I didn't see it. And then here you go with the tabs on the end for every month. Um, October of last year. I put my monthly stuff over there. Uh, November. December. And here we are with January. And I had scribbled some things on there. Not much. And then by weekly, we were filling stuff in. But um, here's this week's plan. <laughs> uh, I have this little bookmark here I got from Target for an Dollar Tree. Um, I use them for the girls for their books for homeschool. But it works well for me too in knowing where to cheer into my planner. But my week is going to be like this. Every day when I get up I have God time and that's when I'm going to read. When I rise is what it says, God time. And then 8 to 2 o'clock every day we're going to be having homeschool. On Thursdays at 6, Nick and Ethan arrive. And they come. they go home Friday morning. And they come back Friday night and stay till Sunday morning. And I have my doctor's appointments in here too as well. So this is just for those who are a little bit... Uh, I, and I couldn't find those other planners if I wanted them. Um, I think somebody said they were going to get me one, but the Erin Condren and the um, other planners, I didn't want them anyway. I just don't spend that kind of money on those anymore. But they are nice. I, I like all the stuff that's inside of it. And this one here, you know, I've gone through some of the months and put stickers on birthdays and whatnot. And here are the contacts that I'm going to print in. Print them from my Google directory and go in there. But there it is. It's my See It Bigger. And I really did need a See It Bigger planner, y'all. My eyes are not what they used to be anymore. I got this from Walmart. Uh, the price, I believe, was $6.86. And I think that was a pretty good deal. The next thing I want to show y'all is something I want to advise you not to buy. <laughs> I got this visual charger from Sam's. See, it says a six port USB charging hub, quick view visual battery indicator. It says that it's going to flash the lights while it's charging, and then when it's fully charged, it changes color. None of this works. It's made by sharper image and it does not work uh, you can't tell after you plug a device into this thing whether it's working or not and I was just totally dissatisfied with it now I cannot find a receipt for my purchase and I want to take it back but they want to just give me a store credit but I put that on my Visa card and I, <laughs> I don't want to store credit. So I got to collect some more for that receipt. And the other thing I want to show you guys was um gift from my daughter. Hold on just a second. Okay. 
So, this is the pocketbook Kira gave me for my birthday. It's an Anne Klein bag. I really like it. I usually don't care. My The bags I like are a little bit more casual. But I just love this so much because, again, y'all, when I used to go to work, <laughs> I don't miss working. But I used to be decked out with my handbags and my shoes and my hair and everything. And I got to go to a new doctor tomorrow. So this one's already loaded with medical files and stuff. I also got a wallet um, that I like. But <laughs> I got it stuffed. It comes... Um, it's... Shoot, okay, let me be a little bit more private here. It's a beautiful wallet, first of all. It's so pretty to me. Right? And it comes with this part here where you can put your keys your ID, um, your credit cards, and other things over here. And, of course, it has um, pockets for all your other cards and, you know, your IDs and stuff. Well, I always get, I got this to stay organized, you know, to keep all my cards together. Look, <laughs> I got this full. That's my Kroger card. Uh, debit card. Um, I have any of you guys have a Google Wallet card? Let me tell you about this little thing. Let me see if I can take it. Y'all forgive me. I've got one hand camera operation going tonight. This is your Google. Okay, I was trying to show y'all the Google Wallet card, and when I was editing, I noticed that I had um, let all my private information. Right there for somebody to get it. So, this is a Google Wallet card. It's really a debit card, but it works two ways. You can use your phone to pay for purchases and order things with it. Even load gift cards, like if somebody gave you a Chili's gift card or um, an Amazon gift card, you could load it onto this Google Wallet. And it's use some washi tape to hide the good information um, it has a logo um, of MasterCard and it works similar to it so you can send an email like uh, I had a nephew that needed some help and I was able to send the money via email uh, you can load it from your debit your credit card or your bank account I really like this little thing it's, it, it's great so if any of you who are interested go to Google Play and search and it'll tell you how to uh, upload that the Google wallet well that's about it y'all um, I still want to show y'all my mixer uh, that I my stand mixer that I got for Christmas and um, I'm gonna go to my Facebook page and if you all want to come to Facebook and be with me there it is Cheryl 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 that's my Facebook page I don't go there too much but let me see I'm on here right now so I can show y'all a picture of my um my mixer hey photos uh, look y'all this is me uh, in 2012 the morning of my big chop I didn't have as many chins as I have now <laughs> and uh, I think you all have seen this picture before me in my sorority that's me right there the prettiest one <laughs> But anyway, I came on here to show y'all my stand, my stand mixer, which I love and I'm so proud of. Um, let's see. Okay, there she is. This was a gift from my family to me. It's Hamilton Beach. I think it's a three and a half quart bowl. Oh my God. I was doing it up when I was making cakes before I got this thing. 
Um, Ethan swears my pound cakes are delicious. And y'all look who's over here in my bed. It's Sunday night, quarter to nine. He need to be at home. Ethan has come over here. Well, he never left after he came Friday night. His mama came this morning to take him to church. He told her to tell the pastor he was at my house. A couple more pictures I want to show y'all. <laughs> That's me. Ethan was mad I was holding Ian. He said I'm supposed to be holding him, not the baby. And let's see. My little Ian, he is, y'all, I know there are other grandmothers in the world that might have a baby almost as cute as Ian, but I doubt it. I'm trying to find this video of Ian. He can talk. I'm going to have to put y'all on pause again. That's me Hi, and Ian. Darling. Look at him, y'all. Hi, Grandma Baby. Hi. Hey, Sugar Mom. A, B, C, D, E, F, i I'm teaching him his alphabet. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, E. Q R S T Hi Ian That's my baby I know y'all tired of that, but I love that baby. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you.